Hello everyone, welcome back to Emily P channel. Here comes another video about your favorite wrestlers and we hope you enjoy it. Let's see what we know about the Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior was born James Bryan Howick on June 16, 1959 in Crawfordsville, Indiana, United States. He was a professional wrestler who competed in the World Wrestling Federation, now WWE. He was a two-time WWF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, beating Hulk Hogan along the way. Howick's wrestling career started in 1985 and ended in 2008. He passed away on April 8, 2014, at the age of 54, due to a heart attack. Howick was the oldest of five children and was raised by his mother after his father left his family when he was 12. The family moved and he graduated from Virtus Burst Fountain Central High School and attended Indiana State University for a year. Howick started training with weights when he was 11 years old and described himself as a small, insecure kid who wasn't into any sports. After seeing bodybuilder Robbie Robinson, he decided to take up bodybuilding. Warrior married Cheryl Lynn Tyree in 1982. They remained together for the majority of Warrior's WWF career before divorcing in 1991, two days before WrestleMania 7. Warrior married for the second time to Dana Vialli in 1999. They had two daughters, Indiana and Madigan. In his early career as an amateur bodybuilder, Howick competed in a number of NPC contests and won multiple titles including the AAU Coastal Competition in 1983 and Mr. Georgia in 1984. He then met a group of bodybuilders in California in 1985 who were training to be wrestlers and shipped to his focus. Howie began his professional wrestling career as Jim Justice Howie as a member of Power Team USA. He later changed their name to the Freedom Fighters and the Blade Runners, but Howie left to have a solo career debut in the Dallas, Texas Space World Class Championship Wrestling WCCW promotion in 1986. It was during this time that he began to be called Dingo Warrior or Warrior. Warrior made his final appearance with WCCW in June 1987 before wrestling for World Wrestling Federation WWF, now WWE. He won numerous titles during his time with the WWE, including two WWF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championships and a WWF Championship when he pinned Hulk Hogan in the main event of WrestleMania 6 in Toronto, making him the first wrestler to hold both titles concurrently. He retired from professional wrestling in 1998 and embarked on a public speaking career but wrestled one final match in Spain in 2008. On April 5, 2014, Ultimate Warrior was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class. Warrior died on April 8, 2014 in Scottsdale, Arizona at the age of 54. He had been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame on April 5th, appeared at WrestleMania 30 on April 6th, and made his first Raw appearance in almost 18 years on April 7th, the day before his death. 
according to reports, wore a clutch's chest in class at 5:50 p.m. while walking to his car with his wife. An autopsy revealed Wara died of a heart attack caused by atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. At the time of his death, the ultimate Wara's net worth was around one and a half million dollars, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Wari had been largely alienated from his peers in professional wrestling in the decade before his death. With Wari's reconciling with the professional wrestling industry just before his death, some of his former adversaries offered their condolences. McMahon stated that we are also sad the ultimate Wari has passed away. Our heart is with his wife Dana and his two daughters. Hogan said, "Rip Wari, we've talked, both forgave each other. I am so sad. God bless his beautiful family." Deadly got him one of the legends and one of the most recognizable wrestlers in the company history. Brace's ability to draw power from the WWE universe. The company paid tribute to Warrior on April 14 episode of Raw with a tempo salute and a video. The WWE Network era lineup dubbed Warrior Week in Warrior's memory. In 2021, Warrior's life was chronicled in A&E's biography. WWE legends invites Lance Starkstar of the ring. His final public appearance on television was seen by many viewers as being prophetic of his death and serving as a kind of auto eulogy for the legendary wrestler, including the lines, Every man's heart one day beats his final beat. It lungs breathe their final breath, and what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others and makes them believe deeper in something larger than life. Then his essence, his spirit, will be immortalized.